Good afternoon. So my name is Laurent Arnaud. I'm a professor of rheumatology at Strasbourg University Hospital in the northeast of France, and I'm a lupus specialist. And with one of my colleagues, Professor Thierry Martin, uh, I have been able to study the frequency and the cause of fatigue in systemic lupus. Uh, we started with a cohort called LBBR. It's a French and German cohort of uh, patients with systemic lupus. And uh, it's a very big cohort, uh, 1,200 patients. And among these patients, 600 of them have completed fatigue questionnaire. And so what we found, I think is quite interesting, is that fatigue is uh, present in two thirds of lupus patients, and that we had severe fatigue in about one third of lupus patients. So these numbers are quite high, and it really reflects what we feel when we have having a consultation with the lupus patients. The second thing we assessed in this database uh, was the cause and the determinants of this uh, fatigue. And this is very clear, we found different parameters what is the most associated with fatigue is anxiety and depression. Then there's something else which is moderately associated with fatigue, which is the use of corticosteroids at any dose. And I think this is also a good reason why we should taper corticosteroids and use them as little and for as uh, short as possible. And then the final thing we found was the age of the patient and disease activity assess using the sleet ice core, but this was a very limited weight. So the main messages are that fatigue is very common, two-thirds of patients, severe fatigue is also very common, one-third of patients, and what really matters is depression and anxiety, this is major, the use of corticoids, this is moderate, and disease activity and age, and this is a minor uh, factor uh, to predict fatigue in uh, systemic lupus patients. Thank you very much.